You've all heard of David and Goliath, right? The story of the little puny human, David, who managed to defeat a terrifying giant, Goliath. Sometimes we have to face a foe who's bigger or stronger or quicker than us. In these videos, you'll see some fights that make David and Goliath look like run-of-the-mill. From a rooster chasing a canine to a yappy dog taking on a horse, here's 20 times animals messed with the wrong opponent. <sighs> Number 20. Rooster Fighting Dog These two are causing quite a ruckus. The most amazing thing is that when you think it's all over, it just keeps going. Who would have thought that the rooster would actually give chase? Roosters are known for their plucky character, and sometimes they can get aggressive. It could just be their nature, but sometimes they get particularly ornery when they have a sudden surge of testosterone. They can reach puberty at the age of 6 to 8 months, and this is when things really change. They can tend to go from being soft, fluffy little creatures to fearsome bruisers like the one here in this video. They've even been known to peck out the eyes of small children. So, even if you're a big, powerful human, it's recommended that when faced with a fiery rooster, you probably shouldn't fight it, but rather just wear a special protective outfit with boots and give it some treats. But since boots and treats are not an option for our canine friend, the only option is to run, which he does and manages to get away, but not without some serious panting. This is one cocksure cockerel. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Monkeys will do pretty much anything for food. They'll attack humans, steal burgers from tables at fast food restaurants, and climb up really, really high trees. In Thailand, however, there's a rare breed of monkey, of the kind that you see in this picture, which only eats one thing. You could try and give it peanuts, it'll just refuse. You could try to offer it caviar, it'll just refuse. There's just one food which drives them wild flies. One day this specimen is walking in the forest and he sees this Venus flytrap attracting dozens of flies. His mouth starts watering. He has to tuck in. The monkey thinks taking food from this guy will be a cinch, but no, 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 no. The plant shows the monkey who's the boss. The monkey is ruthlessly ripped by the fangs of the Venus flytrap and quickly gobbled down. So rather than dining, he becomes dinner. Poor little monkey. That's what you get for being fussy, I guess. What do you think? Could a Venus flytrap really swallow down a whole monkey? Are there really monkeys in Thailand that only eat flies? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now on to the next topic. Number 19, stupid dog attacks a horse and pays the price. It's not just cockerels who deserve the term cocky, although it does go well with their name. Sometimes we get cocky canines too. This Jack Russell is definitely one of those. You don't ever want to get kicked by a horse. If you look up person dies after being kicked by a horse, you'll find plenty of disturbing examples. Their leg strength is immensely powerful. They kick at 200 miles per hour with around 2,000 pounds of force per inch. That can crush your bones and your organs. So kicking a little dosh hound is just like kicking a football for them. And you can see all of the facts don't tend to deter dogs, many of whom seem to enjoy roaming around horses' hooves and seeing what's going on. But part of what can be dangerous about this is that the kicking isn't always intentional. Horses also have a blind spot, which makes them more liable to kicking and unintentionally causing harm. And some dogs are real daredevils. Even when they've seen their pal get kicked, they'll still hang about to see what happens next. The saying is that a bark can be worse than a bite, but for horses who are sensitive to sounds, the relentless sounds of dog barking can make them feel like they're in danger and cause them to get spooked. That can have terrible consequences for the person riding them too. Thankfully, in this instance, the dog was just fine, just had a shock and hopefully learned its lesson. By the way, this lesson is for dog owners too. Make sure you know how to control your dog or it could end up getting kicked a lot further or worse than this one. Number 18, Crab Attack Cat. 
Cats and crabs don't have so many opportunities to socialize, given that one lives on land and the other mainly in water. But occasionally, they do have some kind of meet and greet. This one did not end well. The crab looks so dopey in comparison to the curious kitty that you could never imagine he'd fly into an attack like that. But beware of the mighty pincers, am I right? These tools which form the end of a crab's front legs are not to be messed with. They are used precisely for trapping prey and then ripping it apart. The question is, would the cat make a tasty meal? It's certainly not on the crab's usual menu, which mainly consists of other sea life like fish, shrimp, clams, and so on. Small creatures without hair. I can't imagine the fluffy cat would make a particularly appetizing meal, so maybe all of this is just fun and games. The cat certainly doesn't look like it's enjoying it that much, though. Number 17. A monkey bullies two tigers. Indo-Chinese tigers in the jungles in Thailand. What an amazing sight to see, but I wouldn't particularly like to mess with these two. Even a small tiger makes a fearful enemy. They don't look that much like cubs, but they are, and they're having a rollicking good time as most cubs do. But there's also a problem. This isn't their spot. This is Gibbon land. Our Gibbon is distinctly unimpressed with these two interlopers and uses all of his swinging advantages to send the message, get out. Now, this is a big risk because tigers can actually climb trees and enjoy this activity, especially when they're young. They can't swing, however, especially not with any agility like the Gibbon, their tormentor. They might just not be attempting it here because their weight might be too heavy for these particular branches, or maybe they realize they won't be able to outleap this extremely nimble character. This is a real lesson in the art of monkey gymnastics, and it pays off. Not only does he win a gold medal for air aerobatics, but he also manages to get them to go. All glory to the Gibbon. Number 16. Four cats versus an iguana. So this doesn't look like it's gonna be a fair fight since there's a whole bunch of cats and just one iguana, but it does have a very long tail. It's also hard to tell if the black cat just wants to have a little nibble on its tail or if it has a more sinister plan, like gobbling the whole iguana bit by bit. It's this kind of video that makes you wish you could speak tail, because both the cats and the iguana seem to be communicating quite a lot with them. And then when the iguana thinks it's got enough going on with the cats, along comes the human you'll have noticed in the process that the iguana loses quite a lot of its tail. Ouch, but the good news is it'll most likely grow back. It might just be a slightly different color and slightly different shape. This is a very handy, or should I say taily, skill for iguanas to have, as it means they can run away easily from anything frightening or bothersome, be it pesky cats or humans. But that's not the only good thing about iguanas. They also have distinctive personalities and a special scale on the top of their head that allows them to detect light. They get used to human touch and they may recognize their owners too, which makes them pretty cool pets. They could even give cats a run for their money. Number 15. Two jackrabbits fighting. So am I the only person on the internet that thought that this video was sped up? Apparently this is just the frantic pace at which jackrabbits like to fight. The footage was shot in Catalina State Park in Arizona, which is home to abundant jackrabbits of mainly two varieties, the antelope and the black-tailed jackrabbit. When you can't hear them hitting each other, it almost looks like they're doing some kind of jig, like a bunny jive. Jackrabbits have fabulously large ears, which makes them stand out from their slightly smaller-eared garden variety bunny counterparts. And they also have this unique hoppity-hop style of fighting. That kind of reminds me of the Black Power Rangers hip-hop keto style of fighting. Anyway, generally their foes are horned owls, foxes, and coyotes, but sometimes their own worst enemy is their brother. And when you think about the Green Ranger and how he started off as a bad guy, it's the same in Power Rangers too, actually. Jackrabbits are herbivores and they enjoy herbs and shrubs, but they don't drink water. It comes to them from the succulents that they eat instead, which means that they can thrive in tough desert conditions, the kind found in Arizona. They're also very speedy. They can outrun most dogs. I just wonder what caused this fight. Whatever it was, it makes a pretty hilarious video. I'm sorry. Number 14. Dog versus Lizard. You had a cat versus iguana, now it's dog versus lizard. Round two of the domestic versus the exotic. What the dog has going for it here is its very annoying bark. 
That is, before things get out of hand. Before you know it, they're rolling down a hill, and that bark has become a strange growl as the dog tries to stuff the lizard down its throat. As we saw with the iguana, which is a kind of lizard, these creatures have very special powers, which means you don't really want to mess with them, but that doesn't seem to put off the dog. Not only do they have that cool detachable tail thing, which is biologically speaking called a tatami, but they can also live to the whopping age of 50. Some of them, like chameleons, can look in different directions at the same time. And quite impressively, the biggest lizard out here, the Komodo dragon, can reach about 2.5 meters in size. That's huge! I somehow doubt the cheeky canine would have tried their luck with one of those. They have intensely sharp teeth and venom which can kill you quickly. It also has a cousin called the Gila Monster. I think the name says it all. I suppose the canines could claim kinship with some pretty scary species of dogs, like pit bulls, rottweilers, and wolf dogs. But there really is something uniquely intense about the lizard. My money would have to be on the lizard. Number 13. Cat versus Gator. Pet Cat saves boy from two vicious gators. Muggsy the Cat is quite a character. Not only is he an adorable kitty to hang out and pet, but he's also happily gonna step up to being your personal bodyguard. Faced with two nasty looking alligators, Muggsy didn't need to be told to protect his human family from their jaws. And he sure showed them. With a couple of strokes of his paws, he put those gators in their place. And that is impressive. Bayous like this one, which you can find in the southwest of the US and states like Louisiana, are slow moving streams marshy lakes or a kinda swamp. But that's definitely not the most exciting thing about them. That would be their inhabitants. And no, I don't mean gambit, what for X man? I'm talking about American alligators. They love the bayou, and these creatures are no small critters. They can be up to 3 meters in length, and they can weigh 200 to 350 kilos. And they got between 74 and 80 teeth. They're also not very fussy eaters. These are apex predators, but they won't turn their snout up at eating carrion nor the occasional human. So this family got very close to being a gator's dinner, and it's only thanks to the interventions of their tiny little feline that things didn't get really nasty. I sure hope that he got a lot of treats that night. Number 12. Fearless Cat Faces Off With Coyote you can hear from the sound of his gnashing jaws how angry and fierce this coyote is. And this little ginger kitten is having a very scary time of it. Luckily, he had a human to help him out. The man who caught the footage told the news, You can hear me bang on the door to scare off the coyote. That's why he ran off. He was a fighter, and luckily the coyote was a skittish pup. Scrambling up the wood on the porch was the only way for our fighter to escape the wrath of the coyote. Coyotes are common in Texas, and they'll eat a variety of things. Rodents, fish, lizards, snakes, vegetables, whatever they can get their paws on, basically. Cat looks like it might have been on the menu tonight, but fortunately felines are extremely agile. While the coyote is a strong swimmer and a very powerful runner with huge stamina, the cat has the advantage of climbing trees. The coyote, which is related to a wild dog, can't. His claws aren't sharp enough for that. So as long as cats have trees and banisters to run up, they should be able to escape the jaws of the fearsome coyote most of the time. Number 11. Alaskan Dog Protects Sister from Eagle Attack Alaska is home to some pretty incredible wildlife, and so it's no surprise that a showdown between animals would involve amazing creatures. The giant eagle looks like it's almost the same size as the dog who's only just saved thanks to the intervention of its friend or sibling. In Alaska, there's two kinds of eagle, the bald eagle and the golden eagle. Bald eagles can have a wingspan of as much as 7.5 feet, so that gives them some serious swooping power. That may be one of the reasons that eagles have been the national symbol for the United States since 1782. Though we often hear stories of cats and dogs being snatched by eagles, it's actually pretty unlikely given the weight of a dog or a cat. Speed and momentum tend to make lifting easier, and this eagle doesn't seem to have either of them. Plus, an eagle's diet consists principally of fish like herring, pollock, and salmon. Even if the eagle didn't want to eat this poor dog, he might have wanted to just spar a bit. At the end, the eagle looks like he can't believe he managed to make such a dog's dinner out of this fight. Number 10. Bull Kicks Dog 
Those Jack Russells just can't seem to get the message. Don't mess around with animals that are like 20 times bigger than you are. This bull did not hold back, and I think it's unlikely the dog will try this ever again. Bulls are pretty tough creatures, and though they don't look like they would have the fastest reflexes in the world, you can tell from their bulk that they have some serious kicking power. Bulls are the male species of cow. They're far more muscular than cows, and they have ferocious reputations. They weigh between 499 and 998 kilos, and despite their herbivore diet, they're immensely strong. You've probably heard of the Spanish sport of bullfighting, where a matador enters the ring with a bull to fight to the death. Well, just remember that sometimes matadors are gored, and that it's as gory as it sounds. Every year, people in Spain die during festivities in which bulls run through the towns or the countryside. So this Jack Russell dares to go where even humans fear to tread, and he gets a kick in the face for it. Number 9. Cute Baby Elephant Gets Frustrated After Chasing a Dog the Elephant Nature Park in Chiang Mai, Thailand is a rehabilitation and rescue center for many an Ellie. It's a beautiful, wonderful place with plenty of beautiful stuff to see with cats, dogs, buffalo, and of course, it's elephant herd. While the adults are awe-inspiringly beautiful, the baby elephants are irresistibly cute. Especially when they're on the go, this baby elephant seems to be having a whale of a time chasing the little dog. The elephant has the advantage of super cuteness, but is nowhere near as fast as the dog. And when he doesn't manage to catch him, well, there's a bit of a tantrum. I like to pick up grass with my trunk and throw it around too when I'm frustrated, so I can understand why he reacts the way that he does. Elephants are known for occasionally stampeding, but this is just a bit of stamping. The baby elephant has no choice but to run back to the grown-ups. One day, when he grows up, he could probably just kick the dog instead if he wanted to. Number 8. A fight between a donkey and an angry camel. This donkey picked a fight with the wrong camel, and you can tell it barely takes any effort for the camel to pick it up in its mouth and throw him around a bit, a bit like a mother dog with a pup. The donkey looks pretty exhausted and pretty bony, but its frail frame isn't putting it off at trying to get the best of this camel. Camels are pretty remarkable creatures, so you can see why the donkey likes hanging around with it, even if he's angry and liable to fly off the handle. We recently did a video about how cool camels are. Here's some of the cool coolest camel qualities that I could think of right now. One, they shut their nostrils totally so as to stop sand from entering them during sandstorms, which is a really common thing that happens in the desert. Two, they have three sets of eyelids plus two sets of eyelashes also to keep the sand out. Three, because of their super thick lips and the way that their mouth works inside, they can eat thorny stuff that other animals would not be able to get their mouths on. And four, they have absolutely no issue with sitting down on scorching sand because they got special pads on their chest and their knees. By the way, these are all different facts from the camel video that we made earlier, so I'd still go check that out too to really get your mind blown. What we can't see in this video is whether the camel spits at the donkey because this is, in fact, their typical way of making their anger known. So beware, if you make a camel angry, you might get spat in the face or worse, picked up like this donkey and swung around. By the way, their spits part throw up, so like, that's, that's pretty bad too. Number seven. A very lucky bushback escapes from crocodile. Just a quiet day, sipping a little water in the pond in the sunlight. Oh, so quiet until snap. This bushback avoids the crocodile's jaws by a matter of milliseconds. Bushbacks are a species of antelope which live in sub-Saharan Africa, and they got a lot of skills. But one of the things that they aren't known to do is fly, and yet in this video, I could swear that the bushback takes flight. So no, anatomically speaking, they cannot really fly. But fortunately for them, what they can do is leap pretty high, six feet in the air. And it's that ability that saves the antelope from the jaws of death here. They're not particularly good at running, but they are good at swimming. But who wants to swim in crocodile and infested waters. Evidently, the crocodile is an insanely powerful apex predator. You watched its jaws open. Its bite power is the strongest of any animal on Earth. It might be the same of that as the famous prehistoric terror T-Rex. The antelope, on the other hand, is something of a softie. Still, this round, the bushback won, and you can tell from the glaring green eye that the crocodile is a sore loser. I'm a crocodile, and I'm still hungry. Number 6. Monkey versus dog. There's a lot of angry sounds in this scene. 
you can tell a fight is in the air, and like so often, it's all about food. The dog should be very grateful that this monkey is on a chain because that may be the only thing that stops it from really attacking. We think of monkeys as mischievous, but they can also be aggressive, and it's not unheard of for them to kill each other or other small animals. In 2021, a story was reported about two Langer monkeys in Lavul village in India killing 250 dogs in revenge for one of the dogs killing one of their infants. They also kidnapped puppies and left them in hard to access places to die. So the lesson here, monkeys are not to be messed with. In Lavul, the two monkeys were caught and transplanted to another village so they could let their blood feud end. Who knows what backstory there is between these two. People who live near monkeys have been told to monkey-proof their homes to make sure that these naughty creatures don't do too much damage. Maybe that's what this chain is for. Number 5. Elephant vs. Ostrich we saw earlier how cute baby elephants can be, but when they grow up, they are mighty powerful. Their trunk has many uses, it's basically like a long nose which is used for feeding, for drinking, and for trumpeting to communicate with other elephants. And it's also used, of course, for greeting other elephants. Winding their trunks around each other's is a sign of affection. But sometimes the trunk has a less polite purpose, as we see here. For this ostrich, it's a real pain in the neck. Although ostriches are actually very impressive themselves, they got three stomachs, they're the heaviest and largest bird in the world, they can run fantastically fast, up to 43 miles an hour, and one of their strides can be 10 to 16 feet long. But it seems like this one didn't have time to make a quick exit and it's paying the price. I wonder what the ostrich did. They say an elephant never forgets, so remember not to annoy them either, or they might go a little boa constrictor on you. Number 4. Courageous Goose Doesn't Back Down From A Group Of Charging Cows Okay, so firstly there's the sinister mooing, which is scary enough. Then there's the fact that there's one goose and like 20 cows. And then there's the fact that just one of them is 20 times as big as the goose. And yet, none of these things seem to deter this brave little bird from staring down the angry cows. In fact, it's the cows who seem to be positively terrified by the duck. Is it possessed by some kind of magical power? Is it a demon in goose form? Even that big black cow seems to be petrified. You don't want to mess with a herd of cows. Humans are advised to take care around cattle, and every year hikers and walkers die or are seriously injured when encountering a herd of cows. It's not that cows are naturally aggressive, but they can be very easily spooked, and when that happens, they may charge with incredible strength. Stormy weather, the presence of their babies that they want to protect, or even just any sudden movements might cause the cows to get upset. So this goose has taken on some really powerful cow energy here. Gave me goosebumps to watch it. Number 3. Leopard Male vs. Porcupine in South Africa's Kruger National Park, there's some amazing sights to see. Elephants, giraffes, zebras, raybucks, antelopes. So it isn't that uncommon to see something like this, a leopard walking down the road in a pretty relaxed fashion. Leopards are formidable opponents in any fight. They're the strongest of all the big cats. They can run up to 58 kilometers an hour, and they can jump 6 meters in length and 3 meters in height. They're also strong swimmers, and they can even climb trees carrying prey. So it's kind of shocking to see a leopard down on its luck and licking its wounds, especially when its opponent was a rodent. This big cat had a big fight with a rather special rodent, a porcupine. Its sharp black and white quills, which are its equivalent of arrows, are deployed against aggressors and have some pretty powerful effects as seen here. They're razor sharp, and the porcupine will not hesitate to use them. <laughs> yeah, you're a leopard, but there's a flip side to that. If I'm boxed in by you, I will not hesitate. What's also remarkable about the porcupine is that even though it's small, walks slowly, and tends to shuffle, it's extremely hard to catch due to its amazing quill defense. So it seems like this leopard learned his lesson. Number 2. Turtle Bites Dog's Tongue Don't mess with a turtle. 
This big dog seems very curious about who is living in the shell, but he probably should have just knocked politely. There's a reason the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are such a fearsome fighting machine, and this is one of those. These reptiles have a carapace, that's the official name for their shell, to protect them against precisely this kind of rude behavior. And they have the ability to retract their head entirely within it if they're aggressed. So if you were a dog and didn't know any better, you might not realize that what's inside could pop back out and attack. Some special turtles are more aggressive than others. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are obviously ready to fight anyone and anything. But the Snapping Turtle, as the name suggests, is also a little more reputed to attack when it's afraid. The Alligator Snapping Turtle has been known to bite hands hard enough that fingers have had to have been amputated. Some Alligator Snapping Turtles look like dinosaurs, and they might weigh in the range of 200 to 300 pounds. This one here was a pretty small specimen, but still it knew how to use that to its advantage. The dog was lucky to keep his tongue. He'll definitely know to knock next time. Number 1. Secretary Bird vs. King Cobra These two animals are incredible, and what else could we expect from a final showdown in Africa? We don't know what happened before the video started, but the secretary bird seems to be putting its foot down about something. Personally, I wouldn't take on a King Cobra like that. They can stand up high enough to look a human in the eye, raising one third of their body. And they can use that vantage point to bite you and inject you with extremely poisonous venom that'll normally kill you pretty quickly. In fact, one bite can kill an elephant. Yeah, so what does this bird have that we don't that makes it so quick to take on this really, really scary snake? Well, the bird's taxonomic name is Sagittarius Serpentarius, meaning Archer of the Snakes, as it's actually known for its amazing snake overpowering skills. It has the longest legs of any bird of prey, and you can see they're being put to excellent use in this video for stamping on prey. When they attack their prey, they spread their wings and they raise the crest at the back of their neck for maximum fear factor. They're very clever at hunting. They usually strike their enemy dead by stomping on it or pecking at it with their bill. What makes them so powerful against the snakes, such as the venomous King Cobra, who most of us wouldn't want to be anywhere near, is the fact that the snake will often try to defend itself by biting a feather. But of course, this does absolutely nothing to harm the bird. The birds are then free to swallow their prey whole, which is their preferred method. Yum! I really underestimated the power in those skinny little legs. Which animal fighting superpower would you choose? The porcupine's quill or the crocodile's jaws? And who would you put your money on to win if it was polar bear versus boa constrictor? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.